What I think is Shannon's hearing a bunch of backlash from yeah. yo Skip running the show. Skip, you hot of this Skip? You know, yeah, niggas. Yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You might be hot of this Skip <laughs> right now. You don't even need yeah. Skip, nigga. You helping Skip? Yeah, right. what you still there for? You know, you get in the right barber shop. That's, yeah, that's what they're telling them. That's a fact. You that's helping a, Skip? That's a that's a fact. You make that money whether you with Skip or not. And I think that's exactly where Shannon is at. I think Shannon already has something lined up. I don't think he's that dumb to make an yeah. irrational decision and just be like. I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. He could reach the buyout, but before he reached the buyout, he done had his meetings, talked to whoever he talked to. Yeah. And I think when football season starts this year, he'll make a big announcement in the summertime, but I think he'll have something going on to where it'll be his show and somebody else will be a part of it. Still got a home here, nigga, if you want, my <laughs> nigga, but I think that's what's going to happen. That's my opinion. Yeah. Good point. Okay, so what do you think this means for Skip? I don't know if this is really a good thing for Skip because... Mm-hmm. Skip, Skip is, you know, he's another, he, he's not Howard Stern. We was talking about Shock Radio and yeah. they said that crazy shit the other day called Howard Stern, <laughs> that, that thing. But, <laughs> but so on a serious note, Skip is one of them people too who say stuff to irk you. Yes. Yeah. Say stuff just to get you mad. I don't yeah. even believe half the time he believes the shit that he says. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he does, but sometimes it's more or less to get you mad. You got to realize he got Jalen Rose out of character. Jalen Rose yeah. had to call him. Water gun, pistol, Pete, yeah. and all that. Um, what's my nigga name? Um, who went to Stanford? The um, cornerback. What's the cornerback? Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman. He got Richard Sherman go up there. Yeah. Get out of character. Terrell Owens been up there on several yeah. occasions and cursed niggas out. I think Skip likes getting under people's skin, yeah. and for him, I think that he has a great platform. So I think that he'll find somebody to be his co-host, but it's about who wants to be his co-host, because yeah. if you got a nigga with some money already, he'd be like, what yeah. the fuck I really need you for? I think it was a time when Stephen A was talking about getting back with Skip, but I think but they right got- right now, it's too late. Yeah, I think they got Mad Dog up yeah. there, the, the, the dude Mad Dog be on mm-hmm. the show. He's kind of like a Skip a little bit, but yeah. I don't know. The great question is, what does Terrell this mean Terrell Owens would be good for him. I like that. Yeah. I like that for Terrell Skip. Terrell Owens would be good. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like gotta that. Be somebody. See the thing about Terrell Owens though, not to cut you up, Terrell Owens, and listen, Terrell, let me let me be first to tell you, because me and my man <laughs> Sin argue about this all day. What, what Terrell Owens gotta stop doing is thinking he's getting back in the NFL. Terrell Owens. <laughs> Terrell, I was just about to say, <laughs> Terrell, Terrell could play in the league right now. Yeah, that's what Sin say. Sin always yeah. argue. I'm not saying he's not in shape too, but nobody's picking you up, Terrell. You're not getting to try. You ain't see. Uh, two years ago when A.B. Uh, left the field in, in Tampa Bay in the middle of the game. And remember A.B. Yeah, got kicked yeah, out? Yeah. Terrell Owens got there. He said, I'm ready. <laughs> said, Terrell Owens <laughs> said, you can put me in right now. <laughs> right now you can put me in. I'm like, Terrell, they're not picking you. I'm not saying you're not in shape to do it, but you're 50. Yeah. They, they, they're not putting a nobody in. 50 wide receiver, they're just not going to do it. it. It's just not going to do it. So basically, if Terrell, well, I think he would have a great career in media but he's still thinking he's going to mm-hmm. get a shot in football. Yeah. And so he working out like a mad dog every day, running mm-hmm. 28 miles, doing squats, doing bench press all this. Yo, bro, they not coming to get you, Yeah, bro. they ain't coming to get you, They bro. not, bro. Listen, I'm telling you as a friend, I don't know you. They're not. You Not saying you're not in shape to do it. Your age says they're not coming to get you, bro. Only person who pulls shit off at your age that was good was Bernard Hopkins. Now, if you want to go fight and all that, see if that works for you. Outside of yeah. that, NFL ain't fucking with you. And his past history doesn't allow people to even do that if they wanted to. That's a great point as well. You're, you're a head case. Yeah. You're crazy. You're, you're, you're a virus to the locker room. You split locker rooms up. You went in there, first year in Philly, you got niggas arguing. McNabb ain't throwing it to niggas. Y'all, y'all <laughs> fuck with McNabb. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a virus in the locker room. And that's going to make people not want to fuck with you either. Even with Tony Romo. He said Tony Romo keep passing to Jason Witten too much. Yeah. You split locker rooms up when you go to teams. So and not taking open. those pom-poms and going to, to, ha- um, yeah. to the middle of the field. I, I like that part, though. That was funny. He went yeah. back and did that when he was with the 49ers. Yeah, like but that it ain't was the, funny no more. Yeah, you write about that because he's 50. <laughs> I don't even think not, that's it. You're just not 50. funny no more. Well, once Shannon leaves, they are going to lose a lot of viewers. So it will be interesting mm-hmm. to see who will be Shannon's replacement. And I'm curious to see, too. The black people can have black conversations that benefit black people for the sake of black people.